What if I told you you could dive, splash, and even run on water on the moon? Sounds like sci-fi, right? Well, it turns out, if we built a giant dome with an Earth-like atmosphere on the moon and filled it with a big old lake, swimming there would be epic. Not just cool literally Olympic level insane. Let's dive into what swimming on the moon would actually be like. First off, you'd float about the same as you do here on Earth. That's because floating depends on your body's density versus the waters, not gravity. Underwater swimming, also similar. Why? Because water's inertia, its resistance to movement, is what really matters. And that doesn't change with gravity. So if you're imagining slow, floaty, dreamlike strokes, not quite. You'd still zip through the water at around 2 meters per second, like a normal swim sesh on Earth. But everything above the water? That's where things get wild. First off, you'd float about the same as you do here on Earth. That's because floating depends on your body's density versus the waters, not gravity. Underwater swimming? Also similar. Why? Because water's inertia, its resistance to movement, is what really matters. And that doesn't change with gravity. So if you're imagining slow, floaty, dreamlike strokes, not quite. You'd still zip through the water at around 2 meters per second, like a normal swim sesh on Earth. But everything above the water? That's where things get wild. Now here's where it gets fun. On the moon, gravity is only one-sixth of Earth's. So when you push up from the water, you don't just rise, you launch. A regular swimmer could leap a full meter out of the water. Olympians? Michael Phelps level athletes could probably jump 2-3 meters straight up, dolphin style. But let's take it further. Strap on a mon oven, hit speeds of 3 meters per second, and you're looking at 4-5 meters of vertical airtime. You could do a reverse high dive. A somersault from the pool up into the air. Insane, right? Now brace yourself, because science says you might actually be able to run on water on the moon. Yep. A 2012 study concluded that with reduced gravity and strong enough kicks, humans could just barely dash across the surface like a cartoon ninja. So forget cannonballs. On the moon, you'd be out here doing anime-level splash runs. With less gravity, water behaves differently. Splashes go higher. Waves get bigger. Everything becomes more dramatic. Every pool fight turns into a slow-motion Hollywood battle scene. You'd need clever design to keep the water from flying out, like sloped edges and quick drains. But please, don't raise the pool rim too high. Why? Because the most moon-epic way to leave the pool would absolutely be a zero-gravity slip and slide. So could we actually build a pool on the moon? Well, sending water up there isn't cheap. A backyard-sized pool weighs as much as four Apollo lunar landers. But guess what? NASA's new SLS rockets, or SpaceX's Starship, could handle it. And in the grand scheme of space budgets, it's not outrageous. The Olympics cost $10 billion plus every four years. For that price, you could launch a moon pool, maybe even host the first lunar games. So next time you're at a pool party, ask this. Why stop at Earth? If we're building moon bases anyway, why not add a pool? It's fun, it's futuristic, and let's be honest. Jumping out of the water like a dolphin in space sounds way cooler than golf on the moon.